Hello everyone, it's Dr. Vasquez, your doctor in criminal justice, bringing you another video on criminal justice topics. So this video is on the tragic death of one Graciela Gomez, 22 years old, from Las Vegas. So what happened? October 31st, 2021, Graciela was at a party. She was at a Halloween party. Um, this party was being advertised online. People started coming through. Uh, people started coming through that should have not been there. So once uh, the, the person that was holding the party saw that it was getting out of line, this individual was like, hey, I need to stop patting people down. The people that showed up, they didn't want to be pat down. They got in their feelings. They went into their vehicle. As they drove off, they started to shoot. Uh, these individuals shot three people. Uh, we had two survivors, and unfortunately, uh, Graciela, she succumbed to her injuries. That's the video that you just saw. Um, so it's tragic. And, I, you know, this came up on my feed, so I wanted to bring some attention to it. So that's why I created this video. As always, there's three things that I want to discuss, three things that come to my mind when I see this video. Uh, the first thing I want to talk about is why do you believe no one's coming forward, right? So as you can see in the video, there was people out there. There was people that was at the party. There was people in front of the house. There was people that were standing in front of the house while the shots were being uh, rang. So why has no one come forward? Someone saw the shooter. Someone saw the making vehicle. Uh, someone saw the type of vehicle. All of that. So there's a lot of information that's being withheld that these investigators need so they can conduct their investigation. So you tell me why you believe uh, no one has come uh, forward. Let me know what you think in the comments below. All right. The second thing I want to discuss is do you believe social media is being uh, used in this investigation? The only reason why I bring that up, ladies and gentlemen, is we are in the age of social media. So you mean to tell me you got these 18, 20 years old, early 20 year old individuals and no one was posting anything. No one was blogging anything. There's no pictures we can look at. I just find that very hard to believe. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. How would you use social media in your investigation? And the last thing that I want to discuss is why do you believe this story is not being widely publicized, right? So it's been a year. No one's coming forward. Um, Las Vegas uh, Metropolitan Police Department, they're asking for your help to identify individuals. That's why this story has come back up. It's because they got no leads, right? They got no new information. They got no suspects. So why do you think that this story has not hit all the major news networks? I heard a story of... Four individuals, unfortunately, losing their life in what was it, Idaho. I, I heard a story of a mass shooting here in Virginia, hit, uh, made national headlines. So why has Graciela Gomez, why has her story not hit these major networks? You let me know what you think down in the comments below. All right, everybody. So. This video is a little bit different. This video is to bring awareness. This inf uh, video is to uh, get her name out there. Justice for Graciela Gomez. So make sure you, um, I always say that when it comes to a video like this, you can either like this video, you not like this video, you can forward this video. And if you don't do none of that, you go ahead and create your own video and just get her name out there. Do not let her name go by the wayside. Graciela Gomez, 22 years old. Army National Guard member, one of Las Vegas' own Las Vegas high school graduate, uh, Nevada Army National Guard. So this is all Las Vegas. So Las Vegas, if you are watching this video, go ahead. Do not let this, do not let her name be silent, okay? Make sure you say her name, Graciela Gomez. Uh, thank you so much, everybody. Have a good night.